Imagine a fearless tribe of horseback warriors raiding settlements and terrorizing their enemies with unmatched ferocity. Are you prepared to delve into the history of one of the most fearsome Native American warrior tribes? Today, we solve the enigma of the Comanche War Raids, a terrifying legacy that became mythology. The Comanche were a Native American tribe who resided in North America's Great Plains. They were known for their tremendous combat ability and dreaded war expeditions. In this video, we'll look at why the Comanche war raids were so dreaded. To begin, it is critical to understand the historical environment in which the Comanche lived. The Comanche were a nomadic tribe that subsisted on hunting and gathering. They were expert riders who relied greatly on horses for transportation and battle. The Comanche resided on the Great Plains, a large grassland region stretching from the Rocky Mountains to the Mississippi River. Many Native American tribes lived in this area, notably the Comanche, one of the region's most powerful and dominant tribes. The Comanche were dreaded for their often ruthless and destructive war excursions. They'd ride into enemy territory and attack villages, capturing prisoners and seizing horses and supplies. They were famed for their ability to strike rapidly and then vanish just as quickly making them difficult to trace and trap. This raiding lifestyle was an important component of Comanche culture, enabling them to conquer neighboring tribes and preserve their power and influence in the region. One of the reasons the Comanche war expeditions were so feared was their use of unusual and unexpected methods. The Comanche, for example, were proficient at utilizing decoys and ambushes to catch their opponents off guard. They would frequently create a distraction, such as lighting a neighboring field on fire or dispatching a small number of warriors to assault from one direction while the main army struck from another. This would confound and disorient their foes, allowing the Comanche to catch them off guard. The practice of psychological warfare was another reason why the Comanche war expeditions were so dreaded. The Comanche were proficient at utilizing terror to their advantage and frequently used methods aimed at scaring and demoralizing their opponents. They might, for example, apply war paint and ornaments to seem more terrifying and intimidating. They would also tease and mock their opponents, using insults and gestures to agitate them and destroy their confidence. The Comanche were also noted for their adaptability and innovation in combat. They were fast to embrace new technology and techniques and proficient at improvising and adjusting to changing conditions. They were early users of the horse and could employ it to their advantage in combat. They also invented new weapons and techniques, such as the bow and arrow and the battle lance, which enabled them to engage in close combat with their opponents. Another element contributing to the terror of Comanche war expeditions was their reputation for cruelty and violence. The Comanche were not known for accepting prisoners and frequently killed or enslaved their captives. They were also infamous for scalping their adversaries, a horrific and barbaric practice that entailed removing a victim's scalp from their head. This practice was meant to terrify their opponents and demonstrate their war skills. Finally, the Comanche war expeditions were dreaded because they were part of a wider pattern of violence and strife in the region of the Great Plains. The Great Plains were a hotly fought territory with several tribes contending to control the land and its resources. The Comanche were one of the region's most powerful and dominant tribes, and their war raids were only one facet of the greater fight. This fight was marked by violence and brutality on both sides, and the Comanche were only one of several raiding and warring parties. Finally, the Comanche war incursions were dreaded for a variety of reasons. The Comanche were feared for their horsemanship, strategic planning, duplicity, ferocity, fighting prowess, and capacity to disrupt American West settlement. Their war raids were legendary and instilled dread in Native American tribes and settlers. Thank you for watching our video on why were the Comanche war raids so feared? We investigated several elements that led to the terror of Comanche war raids, such as their unorthodox tactics, psychological warfare, and violence and cruelty. The Comanche war raids were more than simply a historical curiosity. They reminded us of the past complexities and bloodshed 
We hope this video has helped you understand why the Comanche war raids were dreaded. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on history, culture, and society. And we promise to keep bringing more such exciting content for all you lovely people out there. See you soon, everyone. Thank you for watching our video on why were the Comanche war raids so feared? We investigated several elements that led to the terror of Comanche war raids, such as their unorthodox tactics, psychological warfare, and violence and cruelty. The Comanche war raids were more than simply a historical curiosity. They reminded us of the past complexities and bloodshed. We hope this video has helped you understand why the Comanche war raids were dreaded. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on the history of Native American tribes. And we promise to keep bringing more such exciting content for all you lovely people out there. See you soon, everyone.